Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 4th of 2021. Well, it is titled Mars in Taurus. So what do we see here? Well, Mars, which we've seen a lot about recently in terms of the landing of the Perseverance rover, is here passing through part of the constellation of Taurus. And some of the things that we can see here are Mars is down towards the lower center of the image, very close to the Pleiades star cluster. So right, that blue cluster of stars is known as the Pleiades, very easily visible to the naked eye, known as the Seven Sisters. And that is where Mars was very close to just a couple of days ago. So Mars is passing very close to the Pleiades. However, you see two of those reddish type objects there. We see Mars, but we also see off to the left the bright star Aldebaran. Aldebaran is a part of uh, is uh, also part of the constellation of Taurus and is the brightest star in the constellation of Taurus. It also happens to be located in the same direction as the Hyades star cluster. The Hyades star cluster is the V shaped cluster that makes up the head of the bull as Taurus being the constellation of the bull. Now, Aldebaran is not actually a part of the Hyades star cluster. It's actually much closer, but only happens to lie in the same direction. And that's one of the things that we have to remember when we look at objects out in space. We see Aldebaran there in the same direction as the Hyades, even though it's not associated with them. And we see Mars very close to the same direction as the Pleiades, but of course not associated with them. So we lose that third dimension when we look at things out in the sky. We tend to see things as only a two dimensional celestial sphere. Uh, but in reality, things are at widely varying distances in any image. Now also within this image, we see a lot of dark dust clouds. So you'll see some areas where there seem to be fewer stars. And those are dark dusty areas where there is enough dust scattered over light years to block out all of the light from the stars behind them. So there are some stars that we simply cannot see because we cannot see through that dust. Now the one glow that we see up at the top, the reddish glow, is known as the California Nebula. And that is an emission nebula. Emission nebula is a cloud of hydrogen gas, which is excited by a hot star and caused to glow. So in general, hydrogen gas is clear and invisible. However, when you have the uh, hydrogen, when you have that hydrogen gas being excited, it will give off a distinct red glow in the visible portion of the spectrum, which we see here as the California nebula towards the top of the the frame. So a number of different things here. Uh, most of these, of course, will remain the same. The one that changes will be Mars, which is slowly moving among the other objects in the sky, wandering through them as one of the planets or wanderers known to ancient astronomers. So that was our picture of the day for March the 4th of 2021. It was titled Mars in Taurus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a little like Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.